Hi, Olivet Baptist Church. This is Pastor Timothy. I'm in Campo Grande, Mato Grosso do Sul, Brazil, and I had uh, a nice talk with Pastor Paul over Skype, and I just wanted to send a video to say, hey, I'm going to be sending a, um, a kind of a PowerPoint of information to share with you about the possibilities of a mission trip here in Campo Grande at our ministry in the neighborhood of Santa Emilia, and I'll be sharing how you guys can get involved in whatever way that the Lord would lead you. But I just wanted to say, hey, uh, and God bless. Thank you for praying for me and for my wife, Virginia, for our sons, Timothy, Joshua, Random Wasir, and Micaiah Jonathan. Uh, I hope this information gets to you clearly. If you have any questions, ask Pastor Paul. Get in contact with me. Thank you. God bless. And uh, look forward to this. the rest of this information. Thank you. We are Ministerio Batista Casa Calvario, Calvary House Baptist Ministries, and we're the Pew family. Um, our contact information, our, our sending church in the States, is Northside Baptist Church in Dade City, Florida. There you see the address. And if you want to send something through them, you can send the, the check to the address and just make a note that it's for the Pew family here in Brazil. or uh, there's a couple different ways that you could send something to us. One easy way is to send it through PayPal. If you do not have PayPal, talk to Pastor Paul and there will be a way that you could send something else to us. If, if you didn't want to send it to uh, down to Florida, uh, you wanted to send it another way. Uh, but PayPal is very convenient. And um, I can't give you a tax receipt for that through PayPal because it's like you're giving to to me individually so if you need a tax receipt send it to the to our sending church if you need um, if you just want to give something and and you don't uh, and that's not your concern to have the the receipt for that you can give through PayPal and our our uh, PayPal address uh, ID is B J S P A R A V P at hotmail dot com that's uh, in Portuguese, it's like little kisses for Virginia Pugh. Uh, beijinhos para VP, Virginia Pugh, my, my wife. Um, <coughs> our address is uh, Rua Alberto Torres 69, Vila Serradinho, Campo Grande, Mato Grosso do Sul, Brasil, 79104-030. You can... Um, also put South America on the bottom if you like or just that it should get here a good way to contact me personally is through Facebook I'm Timothy R. Pugh on Facebook and we have um, if you'd like to take part in our ministry page it's Minister in Brazil Casa Calvario uh, the ministry page that we have for everyone to see what's going on specifically with the ministry but I do a lot of stuff on my page our Skype is Timothy in Virginia and you can call us here in Brazil if my computer is on and my Skype is up and running, you can call us at 336-793-5109. Um, that's a number that we buy. Uh, every, you have to pay every three months. And so if, if that's a number that you can call, it's a North Carolina number. If that's a number you can call without any problem, and so if you're not on your computer, you're on your phone, you can call that. That's great. Uh, if you have international and you want to call our, you know, see how we're doing here in Brazil if the if our cell phone reception is working uh, you can call our cell phone uh, or our home phone uh, my cell phone here is 9297-2448 the uh, the code for Brazil is 55 and our area code is 67 and then our home number is uh, 67 the area code and then 3385-9564 also I recently was given a um, a phone where you can a smartphone uh, someone got one for me and they have a, a phone number that you can use with Viber or WhatsApp I'm not real good with that stuff yet but the number is five five six seven eight four three seven six two zero zero I'm not sure if you need the five five to tell it's in Brazil or if you can just put six seven eight four three seven six two zero zero but uh, that's that's the number for that uh, I don't I don't usually leave the phone on or take it with me I just kind of have it in 
in the house because I can pick up the Wi-Fi. So um, if you want to contact me that way through Viber or through WhatsApp, that's good. Facebook has a video calling. That's good, too. So I hope this information is helpful. Please contact us. Please stay in touch. Uh, God's just blessed us with technology, and I hope this is, is helpful. Thank you. Well, this is Pastor Timothy, and we are the Pew family, Timothy and Virginia, my wife and I. Timothy Joshua is our oldest, Random Wasir, and Micaiah Jonathan. Timothy Joshua is, is eight years old, and Micaiah Jonathan is the youngest. He's three years old now, and Random Wasir there in the middle, if you can see in the picture, is five years old. This is my wife and I at the ministry, Ministerio Batista Casa Calvario, Calvary House Baptist Ministries. This year we'll be married uh, 10 years. 2015 is our 10th year wedding anniversary and the Lord has been so good to us in the ministry and in our marriage and our lives more than certainly more than we deserve. Here is uh, a brother and a sister on my right in the picture on your left uh, Fabio and his sister and this is a family on my left in the picture Edson, Natalie and Filippi and um, all of these people are involved through a church uh, Igreja Batista Independente Ebenezer independent, uh, Ebenezer Independent Baptist Church here right close to where we rent our house uh, across from the airport here in Campo Grande uh, the city, the capital city of the, our, our state, Mato Grosso do Sul. Uh, these people are, are helping us. Pastor Ricardo, the pastor of the church, is sending some people to uh, come and, and work with us to, to help get the church plant going in our ministries. But this family, Edson, Natalie, and Filippi, they are going to move into the area of the house part that we have of the ministry. And I would ask that you please pray for them and for the work that uh, the Lord is doing in their lives also for me to be a good pastor to them and all the people of our ministry this is where we have services this is an example uh, of families that come to the the church service we have in the mornings we have had children's ministry uh, on like a children's service kind of like a, on a Brazilian adapted version of Awana if you know that program there is a program here called Uansi that is the official Awana program here in Brazil but it's like an hour and a half to two hours. We have a time for Bible verses, Bible memory, a devotional, and then play some games or do a craft or something and break it up into different groups. And at the earlier part of this year in 2015, a huge tree that was in the, on the sidewalk area in front of the ministry fell and uh, broke our power pole and did a lot of damage. And we're, we're getting back going from that. We were three months without power. And with uh, Edson and Natalie's help and some people coming and helping us, we can get those ministries back going again. Um, so uh, pray for our church services and our ministries. And here in this picture, you can see some kids. It's not uncommon to be able to have 20 or 30 kids uh, in, a, in a service or, or a children's service when, uh, when they know that we're doing activities and, and they know that... Uh, uh, they can get a cookie or a piece of cake or something like that after the Bible lesson and ask that you please pray for the children of our, our neighborhood Santa Mina. There's so many families and children that we can meet with the gospel and Bible teaching and just have a, a fun, safe place for them to be uh, and for them to feel and understand in a way that they can that, that God loves them and that God sent His Son to die for their sins and that he sent us to tell them about Jesus and to show his love. So I ask that you please, please remember the children of the area of our ministry. This is the front yard of the ministry. Um, we have recently got a wall put in front, and there's a gate in front. This picture is, uh, I'd say, about a month or two old from now. It's um, August the 13th, 2015, as of this recording. And uh, there's a, a couple of fruit trees in the front part and there's some benches and we want to have a service area outside maybe have a little playground area that's something that we need prayer for to help develop and I'm not a gardener 
uh, if somebody would like to come in and help plant flowers and trees and spaces that we have, that'd be that'd be wonderful. This next picture is where we have a land to plant a church. It's 16 blocks away. You can see our van there beside the land, and you can see in this picture, in the in the foreground below, where there's the road that goes off in front of the land. There's a there's like a black animal right there. It's a dead chicken and a plate. This is a um, a sacrifice to uh, a demonic entity or a false god, um, like a v uh, a voodoo uh, curse that is uh, involved with something called macumba here in Brazil. And it's not uncommon to see those in different places. Usually, it's a dark red chicken or a black chicken, and uh, and a plate of food. Sometimes a a shot glass of some kind of alcohol that that was put right near the ministry and in the across the street from the ministry we don't know yet what the government's going to do but they're going to build a school or a hospital or something to uh, to help meet the needs of that particular area uh, uh, as they try to meet them in the way that they do and so our our land that we have we have a wall around it there's a gate and it's just open we have to to plant a church there right across from the center of this area the 16 blocks away from the ministry base that we have and eventually we hope that we can have space for missionaries to come and stay at for the pastor if if the Lord ever moves me out of this area for the pastor of the church here that will be planted will be able to live there with his family at the ministry base have a place to have classes uh, that aren't necessarily Sunday school class type things and then on this land we'll have a place to to plant the church and I want to show you this beautiful picture this is right across this is looking from the land of the church plant across in the beautiful sunset in our city of Campo Grande uh, where we're so blessed to have the beauty of the Lord painted every day all around us in the skies and in the, in the nature that God has given us and this is my wife and I so we want to just say thank you for your prayers and support and uh, we want to send you hugs and because we can't reach out and hug you through the video uh, I wanted to, to share this hug with you and, and tell you thank you and, and we love you and we appreciate you now <clears throat> Pastor Paul mentioned several different things that could be done on um, a mission strip and I would say that uh, building a different part of the project um, at the church plant would be a good thing to do. We need to have a platform with a with a place to baptize people inside the platform, and uh, some bathrooms. If we had if we had one bathroom and and a platform, we could really start having services there uh, on the church plant land, and that's not something we ha we could do. Also, uh, the we could paint the the wall on the inside that we have now. We need some people to do some gardening work. That could be a missions project there on the church plant land as well as the ministry land that we have. Um, right now, we need grass planted in a, in it's about a four, four meter by a six meter area. Uh, not quite four meters, that's about three meter by six because there's a, there's a bench on the side. So if you know how to do gardening, if you know how to do some kind of construction project, if you'd like to do an evangelistic project where you come and do door-to-door -door evangelism and have services and invite people to services, that'd be wonderful. Um, if you'd like to come and and do just a huge children's ministry, have like uh, a vacation Bible school type thing, it wouldn't have to be during the times of vacation. Uh, something really cool that Brazilian kids do is build their own kites with just whatever material they can find so you know bringing kites from the states would be a special treat but we could have a, a, a kite ministry and talk about how God is above he sees what we're doing and have a theme like that that would be a great thing and, and we could do that with a children's ministry project and also come and, and visit churches and just uh, uh, love on pastors and people here and, um, and and bring a group to come and and share how uh, maybe there could be a partnership with churches and people here and, and in your church in the United States. So uh, that may be some ideas that you can do. Think about those things. We'll continue to develop the ideas as the Lord gives us the ability to do that and communicate with you. Uh, but I wanted to thank you so much. It's just a, a few pictures 
and, and give you a quick update. We'll be sending you more, and uh, I, want, I want to thank you. So this is Pastor Timothy with my wife, Missionary Virginia, and our boys, Timothy Joshua, Randall Moisir, and Micaiah Jonathan, uh, saying thank you so much. God bless you. Hugs and prayers from Campo Grande, Mato Grosso do Sul, Brazil.